A few years ago, after my dad passed away, my mom and I bought this property. It's a whole half a block just east of downtown Enid. And we set up a new nonprofit called Atelier 339 Inc. It's a 501c3 to provide low cost living and workspace for artists and access to shared resources. This is also the home to my workshop and my mom's house and where we're working on itinerant immersive number one. With support from lots of generous people in our community, most particularly an organization called Park Avenue Thrift, we've been able to acquire some really cool equipment and make it available to working artists in Enid. The goal being to make it easier for artists to make a living. This pottery studio is only possible with a very generous donation from Park Avenue. And I think we're gonna be able to provide access to equipment that otherwise just isn't here. I just want to give you a quick update on what exactly it is I'm building over here 
As you can see, these colorful walls over here, um, we're building a room in our atelier studios. Uh, we're currently building a pottery studio and we are reusing some walls from an old art installation we did called Sugar High, which was an immersive art installation uh, in this kind of dystopian futuristic world uh, where everything was ran by sugar. And so we're actually reusing some of the walls to build the studio. So let me take you on a quick walkthrough of what I've been working on. So this will be one side of the wall here. Uh, as you can tell, I'm going to kind of walk over here. Um, these walls were built um, fairly simple, kind of just stringing them together. Uh, as you can see, kind of trying to keep the consistency of these walls to line up all these panels to still show these awesome, cool designs. Uh, it is a little bit of a mess in here as I kind of walk you through. So this will be the main entrance to the pottery studio as you walk in. And same thing, we used all these walls. Rock Candy Industries was kind of the fictitious company that we kind of came up with. It's a pretty decent space too. We're eventually gonna cut a wall out right here where that sun is glaring. Uh, we're gonna cut out a doorway, sorry. Cut a doorway right here. Uh, so that will lead to some uh, sinks, uh, wash bins. We're gonna put a couple kilns in here. Uh, so people can rent the space, students to do pottery, and also lots of really cool stuff. Uh, and it's pretty, like I said, it's a pretty decent space. We're going to go up a little bit higher with the walls. We're going to put another layer, uh, another two foot section of walls up here. Uh, yeah, and so that's kind of what we've been working on. And this is going to be an awesome pottery studio in our utility studios. Uh, I'm just knocking tools over, but you know, it's part of the process. So before I can start adding these walls on this next, or these, yeah, these walls on this next uh, platform above here, uh, I gotta get everything level. <clears throat> so what happened is this floor, it's not perfectly level, there is a slope to it. So I set up this laser to basically, it's gonna hit my corner, which is my lowest point, and the laser's gonna follow and go down the other side, and that'll tell me what I need to do to make it level. So I'm gonna come back and I'm going to basically Trim out all of the tops to that line, get, uh, run a straight line, get it marked, and I'm gonna trim it all down to flush, and then we'll have a nice, perfectly level flush top for the next set of walls to go up there. So, yay, working with uneven floors. Here we go. As you can see, I got the extra two footers put on top. So now we have 10 foot walls for this pottery studio. Yeah, next we're gonna run some beams going from this wall to this wall behind me here. Uh, some 12 foot beams to kind of lay in place. We're gonna lay a grid up top and then we'll put a drop ceiling, or not a drop ceiling, but we'll attach some panels from the underneath to make the ceiling, tie it all in together. And we're gonna have this really cool reused uh, pottery studio room with all these reused walls.